ugly, but not be intimidated by it. Because for communities like Fort Chip, and communities living near refineries elsewhere, those maps of their destruction are a map of our allies across North America, and a map of where the big headquarters are, is a map of our allies internationally. So as we continue to build up this movement around the planet, we're going to be able to make the best allies that climate justice demands that the one project in Alberta alone will only be outstripped by the combined total of all the coal-fired power plants in North America for its gross contribution to climate change. Their goals of five to six million barrels a day of oil would only have up to a minimum of 175 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year. Can the planet afford that? No! no! Well, then we're going to have to continue on with this justice movement. This entire week, we have been so inspired. Myself, I was blown away. I figured that a lot of people would have a lot of interest in what we had to say, but I did not think that people here would show such incredible solidarity and for Chip on. It's very clear this movement is here to stay. We're going home with extra inspiration. We had me tearing up in this rally. All I can say is, is that Welsh Ferguson returning to his homeland for the very first time. Thank you very much. We're going to go back and continue that fight. Woo!